Greetings class. For my first discussion, I want to talk a little bit about colonial America and the role of the Bible as we discuss Christianity and the American Revolution. Now commenting on the role of the Bible in early America, um, a scholar by the name of Brad O'Leary in his book God and America's Leaders noted, quote, early on the Bible came with the settlers to Jamestown and Plymouth. The colonists brought their Bible with them to the new land. When revolution came, the influence of the Bible was deep and profound and the signers of the Declaration of Independence knew their Bible well. Thus, the Bible has indeed played an essential role in the creation of the United States. In the text, uh, Reading the Bible with the Founding Fathers, author Daniel Dreisbach, in the chapter entitled The English Bible and the American Public Culture, emphasizes the major influence that the English Bible had on 17th and 18th century American culture, particularly America's Founding Fathers and the foundational period. And so to drive back, uh, the Bible clearly had shaped America's uh, early culture during the foundational period, saying, quote, it was the most accessible, authoritative, and venerated text in early colonial society. And as a result, he goes on to, to show how it had an enormous influence in the, the writing, in the um, language, in education, in law, in civil government, and ultimately early American history as a whole. Now, echoing this same sentiment, a history professor and a historian by the name of Carl Richard, in his text, The Founders and the Bible, shows the same society that is immersed in a biblical culture that encompassed not only the churches, but their homes, their schools, society, and politics as well. And in this, he examined the beliefs and the actions of many of the, the founding fathers, such as Samuel Adams, um, Alexander Hamilton, Patrick Henry, um, James Madison, John Witherspoon, and, and many others as well. And he identified the ways that the Bible drove their political stance, how it shaped their, their rhetoric, um, how it influenced their um, ideas about liberty and, and their conceptions of how government should be, and how it influenced their thoughts and their belief that Christian principles found in the Bible could ultimately govern this new society. Despite their differences uh, theologically, they still got all this same uh, teaching from the same book in the Bible. And we see this in, in Patrick Henry's famous Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. And we see, you know, Second President John Adams saying that, you know, Christian principles uh, had provided the unwritten constitution that provided the morals and ethics for the new society. And so for Richard, it was basically impossible to accurately understand America's founders in the foundational period without uh, reading the Bible because it so shaped the culture. Similarly, Dries back in his book uh, argues that to understand the social and legal and political history of America's founding that you you have to read the Bible, that it provided the most accurate insight into the founders, their literacy, and their institution of the foundational government. Now, evaluating the academic and the political influence of the Bible um, a political scientist by the name of Donald Lutz conducted a survey of American political literature uh, from 1760 to 1805, including examinations of the Magna Carta, the Bill of Rights, and many different state constitutions. And Lutz reported ultimately that the Bible was cited more frequently in the foundational documents and doctrines than any secular author, than any European schools of thought, and it accounted ultimately for one-third of all citations in those texts. And so clearly in identifying uh, this consistent use of biblical language and biblical references, uh, it indicates a strong familiarity with the Bible. And it indicates that the Bible had a, a tremendous influence on the culture. And not only that, but it was an instructive text and it was also an authoritative source in the founding era, an authoritative source for the founding fathers. And so as Dreisbach indicates in his book, and we see in consistent study here, the Bible had a tremendous influence on America's founding fathers, and ultimately as a result, it had a tremendous influence on America's early foundational laws and the government that was established. And so I look forward to our continued study of the American Revolutionary Period. Thank you.